This segment presented by Mile High Shooting Accessories. Welcome to the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. I'm your host, Larry Vickers. Now we're out here at gun sight. I'm going to a scenario and I really don't know what it is. They've kept me in the dark. I have an Accuracy International covert sniper rifle with me with a Schmidt and Bender scope. And I'm going up here to link up with my good friend, Walt Wilkinson, and he's gonna take me through the scenario. So stay tuned. Walt. Hey, Walt. Are you my sniper? Yes, I am. I'm your local spotter. All right, let me grab my blaster. All right, I'll brief you on the situation. We've had a bank robbery. Guy inside has killed at least one person. He has been described as having a ski mask on, a black ski mask, and then he has a green army fatigue style jacket on, armed with a handgun. The front of the bank is covered with three units but we're the only ones back here. So until we get reinforcements, it's just us. We have two vehicles inside the back parking lot. I've been able to disable one, but the one closest to the door, not wanting to get compromised, I did not move close enough to uh, take that one out. You know, obviously we need to keep him from getting to the vehicle. To... We currently have the, uh, the authority to engage. Should he show hostile intent? Okay. All right. All right. I'll move you into where uh, uh, we set up. Okay. Okay. Administratively, let's load, make ready, right? Yep. Now. The tentative location that I've picked out is immediately to the right of where I'll be down the prone position. I'll move forward first, check to make sure that everything is the same as it was, and cover your approach. Okay. The white truck is the one that I disabled. The blue, red, and white one is still in service. All right. The bank door is behind that uh, privacy wall on the left-hand side. Command, this is Sniper Team 1. We are in position. Update, over. Roger. No change in the situation. We still have a green light to engage should he show hostile intent. Raven 2, this is Walt, we're ready. I've got movement. He's got a hostage. Don't let him get to the truck. Still moving. Looks like he's going back to the back door. Don't let him get there. Headed back to the truck. We can't let him get to the truck. Got to get him down. Unload and clear. Recover. Range of the target was 60 yards. All right, 100 yards zero. Uh, we probably needed to hit the guy right between the eyes, right? Well, I went, I didn't go to the head, I went to the body. Where you had the gun here, I put it right there. All right. Well, let's go see how we yeah, did. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Check out the hits. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, you aim center mass. Mm -hmm. We've got one in here, one here, mm -hmm. and then one looks like just off the edge right there. Mm -hmm. about so, that one? Yeah, right in here. Now I see how you got it rigged. You ha it has to be a headshot. Yeah. In this scenario, with the gun to her head, finger on the trigger, clearly we need to hit him right through the ocular window right there to mm -hmm. stop all movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, he might flinch something off right here if we do that. True. So that's kind of the idea of this. All right, so let's try it again. This time we'll try for the headshots. All right. Instead of me going back to my old military center of mass. You assaulters, there's, there's this just no getting that out of you. Let on target fast. <laughs> there All right. it is. Let's give it a try. Raven 2, Walt, we're ready. I got movement. He's got a hostage. Mm -hmm. Don't let him get to the truck. He's coming out behind the wall now. He's moving, still moving that direction. He's behind the wall. We'll see which way he goes. Going back to the door. He's down. He's down. 
I'm loading clear. All right. Good deal, finally. Looks like we got one right in here, and the other two behind were behind it. Yeah, probably stopped on your follow through, but yeah. that went that went right in where we're supposed to go. Yeah. Now, when do you normally do this scenario? This scenario is done just as cold as you ran it. Okay. Mm -hmm. With most of our precision classes that we run under 800 yards, they run this scenario. Now, and you said most guys go center mass right off the bat like I did? They, they tend to just shoot the biggest part of the target because they're worried about hitting the hostage. Mm -hmm. Or they'll aim perfectly center between the eyes and at this distance with a 100 yard zero, they hit an inch, two inches low and they just don't get it in the sweet spot at all. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. It, it's a test of how well they react to the situation and knowing their rifle at this mm -hmm. point. And they do it completely cold. They have no idea that they're coming over here to do this. Run many guys with it suppressed or not? No. This no, makes no it quiet. Yes, it, it was nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It was nice, yeah, not it's to have quiet. the muzzle blast right there. So. Cool, I dig it, man. It, it's a good, it's a very good, very good scenario. Get a real good reaction on the students. Cool, thanks, Walt, for taking me through it. You're welcome. Appreciate good job. It. All right, good reaction. Thanks. All right, gang, I just wrapped the hostage scenario with my good buddy Walt Wilkinson out here at Gunsight, and I want to run you through the gun that I was using. This is the Accuracy International AW Covert, commonly known as the AI Covert. It was built at the request of the British MOD for their Special Operations Forces has a 16 inch barrel, integrally suppressed, meaning the suppressor comes back over the barrel. This particular one is made by SAS here in the United States and sold by Mile High. It makes for an overall length of barrel of 23 inches. This has a Schmidt and Bender 5 to 25 with a spur mount. The original AI Covert had the Accuracy International mounting system with a Schmidt and Bender 3 to 12. Now also, this ammunition made by Lapool was developed specifically for the Covert and it makes the gun extremely quiet. Generally considered to be a 200 meter gun because of the arc, it can also fire full powered ammunition. Now here's the good news for you. If you want one of these, Mile High has a limited number of the original barrels from England. This has one of them on it. The original barrels from England, you can order one of the guns through Mile High, but don't let grass grow in your feet because they won't last long.